Hello everyone, welcome to the channel Rad here from Rad Tarot and this is going to be Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon and uh, Aquarius Rising weekly tarot reading for February 25th to March 3rd 2019. For this reading I'm going to use the traditional Reader White Tarot deck, in this uh, case the, the Radiant version of it. And uh, while I'm doing the shuffling um, I want to remind you that this is going to be a general reading for Aquarius star sign and for that reason the reading is going to resonate in a different way <clears throat> with every single different Aquarius. So if you want more personal touch, meaning uh, if you want me to analyze your personal situation through interpreting tarot cards, uh, that is a subject of a personal reading and for such you can go to my website uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you can find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing and uh, if you decide to do so don't forget that till the end of february which is literally three days from now um, all of the services are with reduced pricings so i can make myself more accessible to the people in need or rather like to the people that are struggling financially really Okay, so <clears throat> that being said, going to the spread for your Aquarius is the first card, which is the topic of your week. That is going to be the uh, king, uh, the emperor, excuse me. The second card, which is the negative approach toward the situation here or what you should not do uh, regarding the king of uh, the emperor. That is going to be the nine of pentacles. Third card that we do have, which is the positive approach toward the Emperor or toward the situation itself. This is going to be the Six of Pentacles. And um, the last one that is going to be the outcome of growth or the, yeah, the outcome of growth should you follow the guidance of the Tarot regarding the, um, <clears throat> the situation such presented itself as the Emperor. Okay, so that is literally the spread and uh, once again we have the Emperor, then it is the Nine of Pentacles, followed by the Six of Pentacles and the last one that is going to be the Moon card. So Aquarius is, uh, it's uh, quite, that is going to be first of all quite of a busy week for you, for what it seems just from the cards, a very very serious one, you will have to, you will have to attend, that is, to many many things that are uh, saturating your life from many from many fronts it is because as a topic the emperor tells that you will uh, we're talking about potential here so the potential of the week is that you are regaining control over everything in your life career relationship you name it but <clears throat> in order to do so you have to show a, a huge portion of solidity which means that you stand behind your words you know you have to show a huge portion of reliability as well and uh, also a, a determination to set things into structure basically as this week it is the week where you will start making or creating structure into your career and into your relationship as well or into your life in general because the the emperor is a major arcana and it does concern the entirety of one's life so creating structure in your life through which structure this is the emperor so through which structure you will be able to face the uh life's ups and downs with much more ease than usual <clears throat> and also as you structure things around that will allow to clear a room for more personal freedom so if you are very very busy at that moment and you don't have time to rest while well, structuring your things making them in a certain plan or a certain to go list and so on and so forth will allow you to find as well time for yourself with the emperor however uh, this week will require from you to be strong in a sense of uh, that you should not show any kind of weaknesses that you can um, that you can't possess here. Now, the thing with the Emperor is that uh, for him or for that card, dignity does not dictate the whole truth to be told. You just need to tell 
to whomever you are interacting with only what they need to know. No more, no, no less. So gaining control throughout the week of these things also or of your relationship or of your career as well is going to allow you to alter your outcomes but also is going to put a, a, a kind of like a, is going to put you responsible for the consequences of your actions that's why when we have the emperor card one needs to attend to the situation with great sense of emergency as i said responsibility and um, reliability and as well uh one should be smart really I, I don't know how exactly to place it guys but when the emperor plays around i mean you gotta be very very serious of what you are uh what you are attending to or you have to be serious toward everything that you are attending to because people will expect or rather and the situations as well not just the people but the situations as well will expect from you to be uh to rule with a, with an iron hand okay so that being said uh being carefree and uh, being scattered for example scampering around that uh, these are things that the emperor does, just doesn't have as the qualities and uh, if you are scattered scampered or even if you don't have the courage you know to regain control of control excuse me over your life then i think that you're going to miss quite of a um quite of a good opportunity but um with uh, with this card you can definitely set an order and a structure in your life relationship wise and career wise as well throughout this uh, particular week the accompanied card here or the catalyst of the emperor that is to be the four of swords so what we have are active friends and uh, simply uh, it, it does look like that you're going to be granted a lot of a free space or a lot of space to work your magic around to establish yourself so we are talking about establishment here now with the appearance of the four of swords establishing an estate building up an empire and as well with the four of swords here um it's it's very likely that uh, how can i place it mm. it's very likely that you will uh deflect the word is deflect a lot of uh, troubles that may await you just behind the corner it's simply those troubles now as you building up that structure for yourself in the relationship or into career will no longer have the ability to influence your situation in any way possible now important thing with these cards however is to listen to your counselors because you will have though such kind of a people who will try to or rather like they will have a, a very good advices for you and these are usually a very faithful uh, companions of yours uh, until this very moment so listen to to their advice listen to what they say listen to their impression as well from the situation itself and uh, together or you armed with, uh, uh, with with their wisdom should i say it that way will be able to create a, a very very comfortable environment for yourself for your for your relationship for your career as well and so on and so forth one more thing here with these cards is that the emperor does not handle com compromises very well so when we do have that combination here that is a, a sign that you can make the things according to your own image you can make your career according to your image you can make your relationship according to your image uh, you can make your life according to your image it may take a little bit more planning than usual it may take a little bit more passiveness at least at the start until you uh, make your strategy and so on and so forth but uh, simply it is possible and you need to attend to with full seriousness toward the situation regardless of how how much trifling that situation could could seem at least at the start now the second card which is the negative approach toward the situation that is the nine of pentacles and into relation with the previous cards is that the, with the nine of pentacles you may not be prone to listen to what your advisors or counselors 
have to tell you because the nine of pentacles is all about being singular it's all about it's all about doing things on your own and making conquests as well on your own now with the appearance of that card um, it's difficult to explain it but it's more like um, you should not be focused on the gains until this very moment i mean the material gains like money and comfort and these kind of stuff but more to be focused on the long-term prospects of the goal itself but with the nine of pentacles being into that place it will be important first to address the issues of yourself of your relationship or of your career that are still present in in presence instead of charging toward a new conquest before you actually address those issues and settle them for that matter so for example if uh, <clears throat> In your relationship things are falling apart well throughout this week you will be able to regain control or to gain control over the relationship address those issues and kind of stabilize the relationship itself while the wrong approach is going to be gaining control over the relationship and try to stabilize it by making new enterprises for it or rather like trying to make a new conquest in the framework of the relationship instead of addressing the current issues in there. So it's all about addressing the current issues into your career or into your relationship. Is it going to be exhilarating? No, not at all. I mean, it's going to be frustrating at certain points and irritating as well. <clears throat> but this clearance that you are going to make through the emperor not going for the nine of pentacles meaning once again that you have to use the advice of other people and help to a certain extent as well but also <clears throat> not getting ahead of yourself and first addressing current issues instead of addressing beforehand uh, the uh, potential conquest that you can have then it's uh, it, it's it will be a point where you are going to be able to build up some sort of a uh, a domain of your sort of wall in there it's it's really really difficult to explain it guys uh let me think of a better words here mm. well i think i you know you get what i'm saying <clears throat> or i hope you get what i am saying so the mantra of this week is uh addressing issues because uh one one emperor or one empire always needs to clear out first what rots it from within instead of seeking for new lands to conquer <clears throat> how you can expect to conquer new lands or in this case new enterprises if you cannot fix the current issues that are in present with the current enterprises and with the current endeavors so yeah you have to address that first and you will have the means and the authority of doing so but you need to make it a, into a, a reliable way or in a way that you seem reliable and with the nine with the uh, queen of pentacles that is another confirmation here we have a passive supporters as a, a combo here and the queen of pentacles is all about exploring um kind of like uh being self-absorbed excuse me and exploring uh opportunities or rather possibilities in the existing in the in the existing framework so instead of doing so you have to address the issues that you already have it's kind of like a, a week of resolutions for you uh aquarius is where you will have the momentum here of having control over the situation calling the shots and altering your outcome instead of uh, you know seeking for uh, a different type of outcome and just to give you an example to make my expression more clearer god damn i can't find the words guys so this is a very simple one all right uh you are married let's say you're married and uh, your husband or a wife it doesn't matter uh you have an issue and you kind of like argue a lot over a house okay to buy a house 
Well, I don't think that this is going to be a good example. But anyway, so you're arguing about buying a certain type of house or in a certain location. And instead of addressing that issue, which is going to strengthen your marriage, okay, you try to strengthen the marriage by approaching it from a completely different angle here, like buying tickets for vacation and these kind of stuff. So instead of once again seeking new conquests, you have to uh, resolve the current <clears throat> disputes or the current issues in there and this is why you are going to have that momentum of the Emperor where you will have the authority to do so but once again you have to do it in a way that you, you look very reliable of that you know what you're doing you know what you're talking about and you do have the plan once that uh, resolution is uh, is reached so <clears throat> moving forward with what is the positive approach toward the situation that is the six of pentacles so in this case the six of pentacles says aquarius is that you have to be very very creative you need to know that with uh, when we have that card you need to know your place or how you stand so you have to become aware here that you have the authority all right uh, what we are seeing in this spread is that even though you may have the power you may not recognize that you do have the power. And uh, instead of capitalizing on the momentum you are gonna have, you may waste that, uh, that week trying to reach a compromise. Like I said, this ain't about a compromise. It is all about hierarchy here. And you are in the top chain of the hierarchy at, at least at that specific week. And that's why you got to aim to do the things the way you want to do them. But once again, in a, a very, very reliable uh, fashion. <clears throat> so also with the six of pentacles, uh, it is important to acknowledge that things are happening with a certain reason. What I'm trying to say is that everything goes with a flow and you have to move along with the flow and trying to or rather like establishing a new field of conquest is just an attempt opting of, of oneself to avoid going with that current that they have been in, involving themselves until this very moment so it's kind of like a route of escape uh, and an escape route excuse me which is something that you should not do you need to go with the the current flow of events that you have provoked previously in the past so if that is buying of a house or maybe a project into your career basically uh, you have to indulge in there to um, and to resolve the issues um, to their full extent by the way with the Emperor it doesn't look like that you're gonna have much trouble defining the root of the issue itself defining the root of the issue into your career or defining the root of the issue into your uh, relationship as well and with the six of pentacles by the way this card does not kind of like advises you to take any help now uh, the help is going to just postpone the results so for example if you are struggling with a certain thing uh, you may require help for it or you may think that you are requiring a help for it and help is going to come should you ask for it but this help ain't going to resolve the issue it is just going to postpone the issue because ultimately with the emperor and especially with the six of pentacles into that position the resolution needs to come from you from your decision and from your actions of uh, determination and structure as well but that doesn't mean that you can't take advices under consideration just like i said at the start of the reading that you are going to have a, a counselors here who will kind of sprinkle ideas uh, in you the accompanied card of the six of pentacles that is the seven of pentacles my and uh, another active supporters here so it's all about thinking how uh, how effective you are going to be or rather uh, efficient excuse me so you have to think how efficient you can be or the best efficiency you can achieve with the current means that you do have it's all about that another thing is that if you go with the current or in in other words you do try to resolve the current issues instead of trying to avoid them in any way you can a very very faithful event it is just behind the corner which is going to give you the means necessary for you to become efficient 
once again it's efficiency and not to mention that with these cards should you follow the advice here going with the current is instead of trying to avoid it <clears throat> or going with the narrative, excuse me, instead of trying to avoid it and not relying on any help apart from your personal performance here, it is likely that you are going to throw your investments either in time, money, efforts, you name it, in the right direction, okay? So you are going to scale up um, how you can be most productive, like I said, most efficient, and that will give an, an, a, a, a very, how can I place it, a, a very positive investment of your behalf, especially if that is money-wise, okay? So, yeah, simply you are going to find your niche, how you can uh, traverse your reality or rather like your um, environment, your things, if they are going in the wrong way, to traverse them back into the right way, to traverse poignant situation into happy situation, to traverse failure into success as well. It's gonna require, however, a hard work, guys, really, and uh, it's, it's going to require a, a big devotion from your behalf, and also you have to be determined instead of hesitant, and once again, your presence needs to breed reliability. Like you are the, the guy, you are the person. Because that could involve as well an approach from your boss, for example, who wants to give you that project of yours. But they need to see how you manage crisis, all right? They need to see how reliable you are. And that's why you need to present yourself into your career, that you know what you're doing, you do have a plan, all right? And uh, everything goes according to that plan. It goes according to the current, instead of whenever you face a difficulty, you know, trying to avoid that difficulty or kind of like escape from that difficulty by placing another conquest for yourself, instead of bringing this current conquest to its very end. And the last card here is the card of growth or the outcome of growth, should you follow the guidance of, of Tarot, and that is the Moon card. So the Moon card points that you will become very resilient on a, a situations of, um, what was the word here, um, insecurity. So whenever a situation of insecurity arises, you will be very, very prepared for it. And uh, you always will be able uh, in this narrative here i'm not saying like always for lifetime but in this narrative for that conquest for that agenda of yours for that undertaking you will always will be prepared to stabilize the situation and uh, basically this card appearing here points that should you manage this thing throughout the week and gain control over it it is very very unlikely that uh, you are gonna face any crisis anymore along the way and the appearance of the moon card, the moon card here as a, a card of growth it points that you will have control over the outcome of the situation and the outcome can be exactly the way you want it to be so yeah it's it's a great power that you are going to obtain guys uh, throughout this week the accompanied card here that is going to be the six of cups and uh, we do have passive supporters this time around and at the end of the week as you will know that everything will depend on you or rather like well depend on you in a sense of that you know you will be the most important important person in this situation uh, that will create a huge amount of exhilaration and huge amounts of content as well happiness knowing that you do matter your decisions does matter your efforts does matter and without you that project into your career cannot persevere without you the person that you are with is going to be miserable miserable without you your social circle is not going to be as good as it is right now so um Aquarius is just to finalize that guys uh, throughout this week it does seems that you're gonna really show what you are made of all right you're gonna really show why people count on you you're gonna really show why you are in the place you are or why you deserve a, a better place than the one you are right now and it will require however a, a personal contribution and a personal expression into it a part of following someone else's steps because at the end of the day just like I, just like i said you will be the one who is going to 
call the shots or rather like will shape the outcome of the situation and as much as that is exciting and good it also brings the 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 flavor here or the shade that you have to as well be the one who will bear the consequences of that outcome so i hope that you are responsible and reliable enough to make the best outcome as possible not just for yourself but for everybody because again it will be your empire and as an emperor you have to take care for your um for your people as simply as it is so that being said this was your weekly tower reading aquarius for uh february 25th to march 3rd 2019 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and once again this was a general reading for aquarius star sign and for that reason is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level as well um <clears throat> with every single different one of, uh, with every single different aquarius of you guys if you want uh, a reading on a more personal subject, like your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards, well, that is a subject of a personal reading. And uh, for that, you can go to my website, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you can see all of my services and as well their pricings. And don't forget that till the month of February, uh, all of the services are with reduced pricings so I can make myself more accessible to the people which are in uh, struggle and especially in a financial struggle. That being said, Rat signing out now. See you next time. Bye.